in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus Christ anoint our words in the name of Jesus. Let every word that will proceed out of our mouth be anointed by the blood of Jesus. Be empowered by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Without me, you can do nothing. John 15, Father, I have come before you. Without you, I can do nothing. Therefore, I plead for your help. I plead for your help. I call upon the help of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are my helper. Help me even as I begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. God bless you wherever you are that you are joining this prayer session. This moment, we're going to be dealing with what I have captioned, blotting out evil handwriting. According to Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, the Bible says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances, underline the word ordinances, that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Yes, the word ordinances here means decree. And these decrees are not decrees from your heavenly father. They are decrees from demonic covens. They are decrees from demonic kingdoms. What is that decree that the enemy has made concerning your life? What is that thing that the enemy has written concerning you? What is that order that the enemy has passed concerning you, concerning your children, concerning your household? What is that decree? What have they said? What have they spoken concerning you, concerning your household? <laughs> In case you do not know, every of us has something that God has written about us. That is the purpose and the plans of God concerning our lives. But Satan, however, is trying so hard to contradict that which God has written concerning you, concerning me, concerning your children, to write something different, to bring a negative outcome to what God has already planned concerning your life. How do I know this? Luke chapter 4 from verse 17. Luke chapter 4 from verse 17. The Bible says, And there was delivered unto him Jesus, the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written concerning him. Verse 18 that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Them that are bruised. Why am I bringing this scripture? To let you know that every of us has something written concerning us. Jesus went to the temple and the scroll was given to him. And he opened this place where it was written concerning him. Brother, my sister, there is something God has written concerning you. And that entails greatness that entails the blessings of the Lord that entails divine health that entails sweet marriage that entails prosperity the enemy is trying by all means to contradict everything that God has written concerning you concerning your household <laughs> tonight in the name that is above every name everything that the enemy has written Every word that they have spoken, every ordinances, every devices that they have used against you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they are blotted out now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus, they are blotted away in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
They are blotted away now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Until such prayer is being made, you can live a life of frustration. And you find out that some people are saying, is there really God? Yes, there is God. We have a responsibility. And this responsibility is prayer. Luke 18 from verse 1. Men ought always to pray. So the prescription for men to live in this wicked world is prayer. That is a prescription. Like a doctor will say, take two tablets in the morning, take two in the afternoon, take two in the evening. The prescription Jesus gave us is prayer. Men ought always to pray and not faint. This is why we are praying. <laughs> Those that are not praying, they will pray. Because there is that category of people that only pray when challenges come. You are a fire brigade believer. Because Jesus said men ought always to pray. Meaning even in the midst of abundance, prayer is a necessity. Meaning even in the midst of wealth and riches that you lack nothing, no sickness in your body, prayer is still a necessity. Men ought always to pray. Not when only they are in trouble. Not when only they are asking something. Prayer is a lifestyle. It is our means of communication to the Heavenly Father. A proof of a healthy relationship is the ability to communicate with one another without any obstruction. That is why we started this prayer by asking for mercy. Through the throne room of grace and mercy, we are communicating, having express connection with our Heavenly Father. He said, call upon me in times of trouble, I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. An invitation to prayers. Mashalagatupara. Ebros kilavanikada. We are engaging into this prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, according to the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 24. Unto Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and unto the sprinkling of the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Right now we're going to be dealing with every evil handwriting. Shakados kefele digede. Ancient handwriting from my father's house. Ancient handwriting from my mother's house. Every occultic handwriting. Every evil handwriting that they have written concerning me kalash keleveri kazuteli kaba i decree by the blood of jesus christ be blotted away now be erased now in the name of jesus christ every evil handwriting shakupele zeteli kada concerning jesus in john chapter 1 they say can anything good come out of nazareth can anything good come out of Nazareth? That is an evil handwriting. Nobody has ever made it in Nazareth. But when Jesus came on board, he changed the narrative. You can change the narrative in your family. I challenge you by the power of prayer, you can change the narrative that no one has ever succeeded. People die prematurely. Tonight, we are counseling the ordinances of the enemy. By the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we counsel every evil ordinances of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, every evil decree of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, be counseled by the blood of Jesus Christ now. Be counseled by the blood of Jesus Christ now. No one has ever married in the family. Your case is different. I decree and I declare by the power of the blood that ordinance is counseled now. People marry and divorce in the family. Your case is different. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood that ordinance is counseled counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. No one cross a particular age limit in the family. I decree and I declare my case
grace is different. By the power of the blood, I cancel the ordinances of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I cancel the decree of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is generational sickness in the family. Everyone is going through the same kind of sickness. Halesh keli varuskia, man santali kaparega dali kada, ezu prelish keli kada. Christ in me, the hope of glory. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. There is a name given amongst men. That name, Jesus, that at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow, including disease and sickness. I decree and I declare by the power of the blood and by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree let the ordinances of the enemy be blotted away now in the name of Jesus. Let the evil decree be blotted away now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shakata raskali katos ke fene dikete liketo parazi katali kash kele veni karoski la dianda embros kita la zike fele ruske telik paria enta zoke paris kele dika parus yeke teligade. I break the power of barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break the power of barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and I declare no more miscarriage in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare no more miscarriage in the name of Jesus. Let the ordinances of barrenness cease now in the name of Jesus. Let the ordinances of barrenness come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Let the ordinances of miscarriage come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every financial barrenness come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every marital barrenness come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Everything that represents dryness in your hands, in your destiny, in your family, I curse it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare everything that represents barrenness by the ordinances of the enemy, by the decree of the enemy, who is he that saith it and it comes to pass when God has not commanded, I decree and I declare, let those ordinances come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those evil decrees come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I curse the tree of poverty in the family in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse the tree of poverty, want, and lack in the family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything that represents poverty around you, in your life, in your family. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and I declare they come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil pronouncement, every evil decree of poverty in my lineage, of poverty Poverty in my father's house, of poverty in my mother's house. That money come today and tomorrow a massive problem lands that will take away the money. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put an end to it in the name of Jesus Christ. I put an end to the ordinances of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit assigned to siphon finances from my hands, every spirit assigned to bring problems when there is money in my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse that spirit now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare, let the evil decree of lack of money come to an end now. Let the evil ordinances of lack of money come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
get it. Every evil handwriting of premature death come to an end now. Evil handwriting of premature death come to an end now. Every evil decree of premature death come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every evil ordinances of premature death come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every evil ordinances of premature death come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every evil handwriting of premature death in my life, in my family, in my household, in the life of my children come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every evil handwriting of generational sickness, generational disease come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil handwriting of generational sickness, generational disease by the power of the blood of Jesus, I come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse you to your roots in the name of Jesus Christ. Ika shaka tu skefele di keteri kada. Masanta le keteri kapayandi akadu skele di kede. Ebrasi kata le kada. Diabetes, high blood pressure in the name of Jesus. Cancer, leukemia, arthritis, sickle cell anemia, mental disorder, epilepsy. I decree skin disease in the name of Jesus. Paralysis in the name of Jesus. I release the blood of Jesus against you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse you to your roots now. I curse you to your roots now in the name of Jesus. Wherever that sickness was projected from, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release the blood to come against you now. Let the blood of Jesus come against you now. The blood that speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. I command the blood of Jesus Christ right now to silence every voice of sickness, every voice of disease. In the name of Jesus, even the sickness that doctors cannot see, I decree the great physician is here. Holy Ghost, visit that sickness from the foundation. In the name of Jesus, let it be uprooted now. For it is written, every tree that my heavenly father has not planted must be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, I uproot every tree of sickness every tree of disease that my father has not planted in my life, in my destiny, in my household, in the life of my children. Let that tree be uprooted now. Let that evil tree be uprooted now. I don't care how long tree has been there from generation to generation. This prayer is anointed to uproot every tree of sickness Every tree of disease that my heavenly father has not planted be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Every tree of obstacle be uprooted now. Every tree of delay be uprooted now. Every tree of barrenness be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted. Be uprooted by the power of the blood. Be nullified. Be counseled in the name of Jesus. I counsel every evil handwriting by the power of the blood it is written in Exodus chapter 12 and verse 13 the blood will be as a sign for you and your household and when I see the blood I will pass over I plead the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet let the blood begin to speak why for when I see the blood I will pass over when I see the blood I will pass over and the plague of death will not come near thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, let the blood speak on my behalf. Let the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf. Let the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf. Therefore, by virtue of the blood of Jesus, I decree evil ordinances will not stand. Evil decree over my life will not stand. Evil ordinances concerning my children will not stand. Evil ordinances concerning my wife will not stand. Evil ordinances concerning my destiny will not stand. Evil ordinances concerning my household.
household will not stand. Evil ordinances concerning my ministry will not stand. Evil ordinances concerning me and my household in this month, oh God, I decree they will not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not stand in this month of September and October. The evil ordinances of the enemy will not stand. Every evil ordinances of car crash, it will not stand. Every evil ordinances of stray bullet, it will not stand. Every evil ordinances of hospital bed, it will not stand. Every evil ordinances of premature death, it will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, le kashaka parakus keledikete, manteke telika tarus kapalikada, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the angel of destruction will not locate me and my household. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the angel of death will not locate me and my household. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, blood testing demons will not locate me and my household. Let the eaters of flesh eat their own flesh, and let the drinkers of blood drink their own blood as sweet wine. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you see yourself together, you shall not stand. Speak the word, it shall not stand. For God is with us. I tear and nullify every evil decree against me. I tear and nullify every evil decree against me. Every evil decree in the form of death certificate. I tear it right now. I tear it right now. Every evil decree in the form of failure. I tear it right now. Every evil decree in the form of sickness. I tear it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every evil decree in the form of medical report. I tear it right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil decree in the form of Unemployment, I tear it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Leka shakata laka tu paradigada, manteke sheke teli ke teli kada, arus kele di, masata laka tare kada ba ya kada di kada, eko suke pele di kada, masheke teli kade, ika suke le di kada, mandele kede di kade. I cancel every evil ordinances against me and my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil decree of obituary. Be cancelled now by the blood of Jesus. Every evil ordinances of premature death, I silence you now by the blood of Jesus. Every evil ordinances of affliction, be cancelled now by the blood of Jesus. That affliction shall not stand. That affliction shall not rise a second time again. In the name of Jesus, I close every door of affliction in my life, in my household. I close every door of affliction by the power of the blood. Lord, in the name of Jesus, evil arrows enforced by satanic decree and ordinances, I command you now, by the power of the blood, return back to sender, in the name of Jesus, every evil arrows enforced by satanic decree and ordinances, I hereby command you to return back to the sender now, return back to the sender now, locate your sender, locate your sender, locate your sender, evil arrows, of ordinances and decree, evil arrows enforced by satanic arrows and decree. In the name of Jesus, I command you right now, locate your sender, locate your sender in the name of Jesus. It is written in Job chapter 5 and verse 12, thou frustrate the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In the name of Jesus, I frustrate every evil decree and ordinances. I frustrate every demonic devices against me and my household. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, I command every satanic installation, every satanic system, every satanic network, every satanic network, crumble now, crumble now, crumble now by the power of the blood, crumble now in the name of Jesus. I command you to crumble now. Every satanic network, every satanic system, every satanic installations, I command you, crumble now in the name of Jesus. Crumble now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy by the blood of Jesus Christ. I 
I dismantle every evil altars powering satanic decrees and ordinances against me and my household. In the name of Jesus, I decree in the name of Jesus, every satanic altars akashatarigada, powering satanic decrees and ordinances against me and my household. In the name of Jesus, be dismantled now. Be dismantled now. Be dismantled now. Angels of warfare, terrorize the powers oh God arising against me. Angels of warfare, terrorize every dark powers against me, against my household in the name of Jesus. Make a mockery of them wherever they are. Cause confusion in their camp. Cause confusion in their gathering in the name of Jesus. For it is written surely they shall gather not by me. Whosoever shall gather against me shall fall for thy sake. I decree and I declare by the power of the blood in the name of Jesus. Angels of the living God make a mockery of them. Cause confusion in their midst. Let them begin to walk against themselves in the name of Jesus. Let their weapons begin to walk against themselves in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise. Lift up a standard against every satanic installation. Lift up a standard against every demonic installation. Lift up a standard against every satanic gathering. In the name of Jesus, I blot out every handwriting of the enemy. Every handwriting of the enemy. Every satanic handwriting that says I will not make it in 2023. Every satanic handwriting that says I will not cross to 2024. In the name of Jesus, I command that handwriting of the enemy to be blotted away now. Be blotted away now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the skill of skill of Boruga and the cross I prophesy. I am blessed in my going out. I am blessed in my coming in. My children are blessed in their going out. They are blessed in their coming in. My wife is blessed in their going out. She is blessed in her coming in. My household is blessed in their going out and they are coming in. In the name of Jesus. The arrows that fly by day, no, the terror by night, shall not come near my dwelling, shall not come near my household. In the name of Jesus. Only with our eyes shall we see the reward of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. My Father, I decree, do not allow the expectation of the enemy to be fulfilled. Let their eyes not see their expectation. In the name of Jesus. Let they laugh and say, aha, aha. We said it. Father, I decree, let everything that they have conceived be aborted now, be canceled now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I appreciate you for the wonders of answered prayers, for the mystery of answered prayers. Holy Spirit, I appreciate you. Lord Jesus, take the glory. My Father in heaven, Elohim, Father, I thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. In the name that is above every name, I thank you for the answers to this prayer. First John 5, 14, the Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that when we pray according to his will, he answers us. Father, we thank you for answers. Thank you for blotting out evil handwriting. Thank you for putting an end to the decrees of the enemy, to the ordinances of the enemy. We silence their voices. We silence their altars. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your doings. Thank you for your miracle working hand. We are blessed. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you, everyone. I remain your brother. Bernard, I see you in the next one. 
stay under the canopy of God's grace and his mercies. Shalom.